Welcome to Reality Business Consulting's Be Real video tutorial series on how to manage your website with the WordPress Content Management System or WordPress CMS. The topic of this tutorial is WordPress CMS Basics Managing Widgets. So here we are at the control panel, a familiar screen to us. Throughout the Be Real video tutorial series, we've kept the following rules in our mind to remind us on how we should manage the content on our site. The first is to create the content. The second is to edit or format the content, and the third is to place the content somewhere on the site. This tutorial will focus on the last rule, placing the content, in this case, with widgets. So first of all, what is a widget? Well, a widget is what makes WordPress CMS so easy to use. It is designed to provide a simple way to arrange the various content elements of your site into different compartments on your website, known as widget sidebars, without actually having to change any code so anyone can do it. During the design phase we created a wireframe for your website to dictate where these widget sidebars or areas will be located. Each design and website that we develop at Reality Business Consulting will have different widget areas depending on the client's needs. So there are widgets on the home page and widgets on the content pages. For our purposes let's take a look at where the widgets are located on our home page. So here is our home page by taking a close look at it, you probably have a good idea of where the widget sidebars are or the widget areas. Let's take a look. So here are the widget sidebars or the widget areas for our content. Our home top left, home top right, home middle 1, 2, and 3, and our home bottom 1, 2, and 3. It's very important to understand that these widget sidebars may not correspond exactly to your website. If it's not that intuitive, you will have been given a guide or a widget guide map to your website by your Reality Business Consulting representative. However, when you make reference to the widget area in the control panel, you will find it fairly intuitive. Now let's take a look at where we can manage the widget sidebars from our CMS. On the left menu, look for Appearances and then select Widgets. You will see a lot on this page. First, let's look to the right side of the screen. Here are the widget sidebars or areas that correspond to our website. For example, Home Page Middle 1 or Home Middle 1 holds the content for Home Middle 1 on our home page, Real People. To manage the content in Home Middle Number 1 and all the widgets for that matter, simply open the box by selecting the down arrow. In case you, you need reminder, the widget tells us where this is located. What you will notice here is another box or widget. This says Genesis Featured Page. We can open this to edit how the content is being displayed in the Home Middle 1 widget area or widget sidebar. Once we open the Genesis Featured Page widget, we can change the title, change the content page that is being displayed, determine if we want to display the image associated with this page known as the featured image and its size and alignment, decide on if we want to display the page title, byline and the actual content. To display the entire content you just leave this area blank or if you like a limit the number of characters that are displayed enter the number of characters. Don't worry, this is a trial and error process. Start at a number and see how you like it displayed and work from there. And the last thing you want to do is ensure that you save it. Again, do not forget to save once you've made changes to this widget. For demonstration purposes, let's change the number of characters to display and then we will view the change. Don't forget to open the website and to view your changes in another window. Right click the link in the top left corner and open in a new tab. To see our changes, be sure to refresh the screen. What you'll have noticed is the number of characters that we displayed in our Home Middle 1 or our Real People widget area or sidebar has increased to 500. That's how simple it is to do. We can also add more content to this widget area by doing the following. On the left, you can see a section called Available Widgets, and below it, you'll see a section called Inactive Widgets. 
In the available widgets section, each one of these widgets provides a different functionality, and there are several of them. For our purposes, we will primarily be working with the Genesis Featured Page widget, the Genesis Featured Post widget, if your website has a blog, and the Text widget. You can play around with the other widgets to see what they offer if you like. In an earlier tutorial on adding a content page, we created a page called Test Title. So now let's place the content of this page in the Home Middle 1 widget sidebar. To do this, we simply drag the Genesis Featured Page widget from the Available Widgets section and drop it into the widget area we want it to be placed. In this case, Home Middle 1. And then we need to configure its parameters. Enter the title, select the page we would like to display, and then determine the content we'd like to display. And then don't forget to select Save. Let's see what's been displayed. Selecting our browser tab and refreshing the screen, we will now see that the content that we place in the Home Middle 1 sidebar has been displayed with the title and the number of characters. That's how simple it really is. To change the order of the content in this widget area, we simply drag and drop and select Save. Now that's how we display content on your home page. To do this on your content page sidebar depends on how your content pages are laid out. For example, is it a content and then a sidebar? Is there a sidebar and then a content? Are there two sidebars? And so on. The way you manage the sidebar content on the content pages is with one of these two sidebars, primary or the secondary. And we do it in the exact same way we have just showed. This concludes our Be Real video tutorial on managing widgets. If you need more support on this topic, please visit the following website for more information. If you or someone you know is looking for a marketing and sales consultant, please visit our website or contact Reality Business Consulting. We can help your company or organization with website development, marketing and sales planning and implementation. Until the next tutorial, be real.